Welcome back. As we wrap up this week's public affairs on Peach, we want to preview next week's Democratic National Convention. Let's start with Theron. What do you want to hear from Hillary? Well, I think the first thing she's got to do is she's got to basically promote a vision for the future of our country. She's got to talk about how she's going to unite the country. And I think she's got to come with some very bold solutions. Listen, it's going to be totally different than what you saw on the GOP side. But one of the things that we cannot sweep on the rug is that there are going to be a lot of Bernie Sanders supporters there who are not mm -hmm. as supportive as they should be right now, Hillary Clinton. So she's going to have to appeal to them. I think unlike the Republican platform committee, uh, you'll see some platform committee solutions that came out that basically would show that it's going to unite the country. But the other thing that she's got to do, listen, I think she's got to really sh you know, prove to a lot of people and talk about her foreign policy experience. I mean, one of the things that we heard from Donald Trump and the Republicans was this, sort of this law and order speech and how we're going to work with our world allies and we're going to make sure that we keep, keep our country safe. Mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton is uniquely positioned to do that because of her experience as Secretary of State. And I think the last thing she's got to do, she's got to talk about a country that looks like America. And I think you'll see people in the audience, they're very diverse folks, and then she's got to do particularly well with women. I think that's going to be a very key part of her speech on, on, on the convention next week. And Julianne, there's a credibility issue here with the email server issue with Benghazi. Uh, there's a lot of Americans that want answers for those things. Do you think that she has to address it? at the convention. I don't think she's going to address it, um, and I don't think it would be smart of her to <laughs> address it. And one of the most unfortunate things that happened during the Republican convention was uh, the, the fact that Melania's speech was so overshadowed by the charges of plagiarism. And uh, on the same night, the Benghazi survivor spoke, and Pat Smith, the mother of Sean Smith, who was killed in Benghazi, spoke. So people really didn't pay much attention to that when they should have, because those were crucial speeches. And, you know, they concentrated, the media was concentrating on the Melania Trump issue. But with regard to the, to the Democratic platform uniting the country, let's face it, it's going to be as far to the left as the Republican platform was to the right. Bernie Sanders was a big part of the decision-making process in the Democratic platform. So it's, it's going to be somewhat influenced by socialism. And there, that's my final question is how does Hillary get those Bernie Sanders voters on her side? Well, she's been doing it for really the last few months. I mean, what you saw in the uh, sort of the delegate selection progress uh, process all across the country, the Bernie Sanders people were very vocal about some of the opposition they had. And I think the Clinton campaign has embraced them. I mean, listen, Bernie Sanders has endorsed Hillary Clinton. So I think it's going to be left up to him as well to talk about how, listen, we may have our differences, but one thing that we do know is that a Clinton presidency would definitely be better than a Trump presidency. So I think that's going to be the message for Bernie Sanders when he speaks All next right. week. And thank you both so much for being here. Thank we'll you. see you next thank week you. to discuss the Democratic National Convention.